we are looking at the structure of the masseter now. It, remember, is one of the power muscles or the main power muscle of the jaw joint. The insertion here is along the edge of the mandible of the jaw joint. There's a superficial component and there's a deep component. They both run up and they attach along this arch which is your cheekbone. So people have a high cheekbone, and what you're feeling is what's called the zygomatic arch. And it's a big, strong ridge of bone, and the masseter joins into it. When the masseter contracts, it will pull the jaw joint upwards and close the mouth. And it is actually a very powerful muscle, and when it's on full power, it will exert considerable force. Things that set off pain in the masseter muscle are something called bruxism. Now, bruxism is a condition where people grind their teeth. It's an unconscious thing. It may happen when you're asleep, or it may happen during the day, and it's just unconscious. It's a stress reaction. So bruxism will work the masseter muscle, overwork it and set trigger points in it. If you lie in a dentist's chair with your mouth wide open for a very long period of time, that may set off trigger points. If you have occlusional imbalance, now this is a real um, hot potato, big long word describing the fact that as you bite, the bite is not symmetrical. It's an, you have an abnormal bite. If this truly is the case, then it may set trigger points off in the masseter muscle. But there is great debate, and there has been for many years, as to what is a correct bite. And the reason for this is that there are many, many people with most unusual bites, which are, seem to be quite crooked, who have no problems. And there are other people who have quite good-looking bites who have symptoms. The pain distribution from trigger points in masseter are fascinating. There are three, essentially three sets of trigger points in the masseter muscle. The first is here, which is in the center of the muscle. And this will refer pain into the teeth and actually into the top teeth. So here it is, and you may feel the pain. You would swear the pain is in your tooth but it's actually coming from that trigger point. The second trigger is slightly lower, in fact, in the main part of the muscle. This is the part of the muscle that bunches up when you clench your teeth, and this will refer pain into the lower teeth here, and may refer pain a little bit into the jaw. And there's a third set of triggers, and they are right down here where the masseter muscle actually joins onto the mandible bone and that will refer pain into the jaw joint further and oddly up here. So quite a complex set of referral patterns. Finally the deep portion of the masseter muscle may have a trigger point which is high up here and this will refer pain into the ear, like that. So these, you see the masseter muscle itself has a complex referral pain pattern, and it is a mimicker. It will mimic tooth pain, and it will mimic ear pain.